How's everyone doing? And welcome back to Wrenches in Motion, where today we're going to start pulling a motor out. So as everybody knows, this is the 79,000 mile motor and transmission. Transmission going in that green one, motor going in that blue one. Uh, we're not going to do too much today. First thing we're going to do is we're going to drain the coolant out. And that might be about it, because I'm kind of tired. We just did the stealth transmission. Um, and something else we did today, besides going to the hospital to get checked out, is we got the lug nuts and we put the center caps on the center line rims for the reference Mustang. And I think it looks pretty good. For a car that'll never see the road again, you always run on center lines. Anyway, here we got, yeah, we still got the green CRV, got the blue CRV. Status is still the same on them, because I had to go to New York to get the other CRV. And there's Gun Dog. What's up, buddy? So you would think that this would be easy. However, this was a New York car. So we got part of the airbox busted out right there. Under here. You're supposed to just be able to pull this plastic off. However, the nuts are so rusted that we had to cut this one off. We'll probably have to cut that one off. And if you can look under here, this is why you don't trust New York suspensions. Ugh, look at this. So we're pulling the, pulling the air box out because we have to. Uh, filter don't look too bad. But it smells almost like like a Hershey's mint chocolate bar and uh, old gym socks. Yeah, it don't smell good. So as the radiator is draining, the first thing I see is that it's got the proper blue Honda coolant in it. Which is nice. I don't think it's the original coolant. But with only 80,000 miles, you know, maybe it is. Okay, so we went ahead and we drained the oil. We drained the transmission fluid. I've got the power steering off. Or the power steering pump off. That's laying over there. Uh, let's see. Battery's disconnected. So leak down test went good. I'm going to put it back to top dead center. Take off the distributor. So we're trying to pull the axle out. And we got, look at that pile of rust. That's just from this side. So I got one more bolt for the support bracket and then this axle will come out. Still got the other side and still got a bunch more stuff to do. So loving it. And if we turn and look, we'll see a missing race car. That's because I sold it. Guy came and picked it up yesterday. Put it for sale for like three hours and it was gone. So I guess I underpriced it. All right, back to work. And then I can sweep up all this rust. And here we are with another installment of Will the Motor and Trans Ever Come Out of This CRV? Uh, something I forgot to do, take the hood off. Okay, so in the last video, um, or at least yesterday, we had to take the hood off and the motor and everything was still in. And today, we see that everything is out. Last night, I was able to take the hood off, uh, got the motor and trans out. And the reason that I didn't have any video of it is because the GoPro decided to die. So... Charge it up, and here we are. Um, what we're going to do this morning is get this up in the air, and we're going to take the transmission off and the starter, obviously. Uh, once we get the transmission separated from the motor, then I think I'm going to bring a motor stand out here, pop the motor on it, and then we'll uh, do the timing belt and water pump, um, do a valve adjustment, 
And that should be it as far as mechanical stuff. So there's a reason that I hate northern vehicles. And the first reason is that, that, and this bolt over here that hold just a plastic cover on. All I did was round off when I put the socket on there. So I'm trying to do the inspection plate so that I can get the torque converter loose. And wouldn't you know it, that little 10 millimeter right there and that 10 millimeter in there decided they wanted to strip out. So time to get the vice grips. All right, so we got the inspection plate off and I was hoping I could just use the DeWalt to get the torque converter bolts out, but that's not gonna work. So once I get them loose, I'm gonna use this Craftsman 19 volt right angle deal here. And uh, to tell you the truth, it works pretty good. I was not expecting it to work as well as it does. Now that we've got the engine on stand, um, this is gonna come off. That's gonna get replaced with one that's not rusted. This is probably gonna come off. Um, these little bracket things, they hold the wire harness and when they're rusted, they're super hard to get off. So those are going to get replaced with uh, the ones from the other motor, all those. Uh, timing belt, I'm going to do that here in a second and pretty much clean all this up. And, uh, this here. This here, I've got some new crinkled black paint, so I'm gonna repaint this so it looks halfway decent. Um, you see the spark plug tube seals are stuck to the head, so I'll be getting those off. Um, overall though, looks clean and it should for only having 79,000 miles. Well, here it is another day and you're probably thinking the same thing I'm thinking. What is taking so long to get done? Well, I wish I had an answer, but what I do know is the exhaust for this was supposed to be here today, or last night. It never showed up. So I'm all prepared to finish the exhaust, but I cannot do that yet. So the green one just sits there. If you look at the blue one, you'll see I got the tires changed out. So it's got new tires. I put the aluminum rims on it, so it looks a whole lot better. And that's when we'll be pulling the motor out of shortly. Um, I was going to pull the motor out. So hopefully the exhaust will come today. I'll get that put on. And then I can get this out of the way. Oh yeah, one other thing. Ugh, while I'm doing the exhaust, I got the drive shaft. So the drive shaft's got to go back in. And then... Uh, this will be one step closer to doing whatever. Hey, welcome back. And after what seems like an eternity with the blue CRV, we're still not done. So what we got so far is um, motor's in, motor runs. Um, it doesn't idle for right now. And I think that's because we're still having to burp the cooling system. We don't have enough coolant going up to the throttle body then the idle is going to go back and forth so we're playing around with the idle um, but down here is what I wanted to show you what we're doing now and I knew some of this stuff so I ordered parts and then had to order more parts and order more parts um, first thing I want to show you is the tie rod boots or the steering rack boots they're shot so I got two new ones um, from Honda Driver and passenger side are different. There's the driver side. Um, tie rod ends. The boots are all torn, so tie rod ends are shot. The upper control arm, I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of dark, but that boot's shot. So I got new upper control arms right here. And I figured I may as well do lower ball joint. I already did this side, so this side's got a new ball joint. I'll be doing the other side here shortly. And then I noticed when I was coming in the driveway, I heard a clunk. Obviously there's clunk in the suspension somewhere. So after all this stuff that I bought, none of that was the issue. 
And I should have known this, but um, if you could watch the sway bar end link, you see how far it moves? And it makes that clunk. So that's the issue. So I have new sway bar end links for both sides and we're putting them in and hopefully that clears our clunk. And let us just take a listen real quick. Uh, let's see if this thing's gonna do. Yeah, oh, we're still gonna have a little idle problem, I, I can see. Um, suspension first, let's get that done. And then we can go ahead and move on with the rest of the figuring out why it doesn't want to idle. Okay, so here we are trying to do the sway bar links. And this is why I like cars from the south and not cars from the north. Because you can actually do this. On northern cars, you either cannot get the Allen, Allen wrench in here because it's so rusted. Or as soon as you try to turn it, the bolt snaps, and then you end up just cutting them off anyway. So, another positive for Southern cars.